What's an aimbot? Alright guys, I know I've done a video like this before, but there's been a ton of changes to the settings and there's way more options to choose from now. And every single video I get people commenting, you know, what's your settings, what's your settings? So let's go through it. I'm going to start from the top and we'll work our way through the bottom. This is just kind of the defaults I have for everybody. Doesn't really make much difference to anything. I'll show you mainly the characters that I, I would play. So this is my Ana. Settings are very similar to Widowmaker which you will find towards the bottom of the video. I'm not going to go over it if you want to pause the video on a specific hero that I play then uh, pause the video and take a look at the settings but I'm just gonna for the most part go through it real fast. I haven't touched Doomfist. Uh, Genji, I've play, been playing lots of Genji. <clears throat> so fast sensitivity. 90 aim smoothing might not seem like a big difference but uh, it makes a big difference. Button layout is the same. I, I changed nothing for Genji. Hanzo, same thing. It's kind of similar to Widowmaker. Lower uh, lower window and uh, aim strength assist. Junkrat is default. Lucio. This is a good one, actually. Lucio, I recommend putting on uh, backwards wall ride. That's a big one. And make sure you have allied health bars on, too. If you're playing a healer, I do recommend that being on for sure. Now, as far as uh, toggling your buttons, it's a little bit different for me because I play with a scuff controller. So I have my paddles on the bottom of my controller, right on the back. I have jump and crouch in the back, so I don't have to move it. But if you ask me, I would toggle your jump to maybe L1 or L2. I haven't done it myself, but uh, I know lots of pro Lucios out there would uh, probably correct me as to what they would remap their controls but I would definitely remap it so you can keep your thumb on your right stick but you can still jump around that's important so remap your button somehow so you can jump with your thumb still on your right stick that's what I would say for Lucio alright getting into McCree as you can see it's a, it's a slower sensitivity when you're talking like a McCree soldier tracer like Characters, hit scan characters where you need to be precise with your aiming, even Zarya too. Lower sensitivity. Don't listen to the crazy people that are like, fast sensitivity, like, that's how you do it. No, you're trying to be accurate, you know? You're trying to be accurate. Again, I haven't remapped any buttons for McCree. May, I don't think any. Oh, a little lower for me, I guess. I don't ever play May, though, so. Mercy's default. Farah. Alright, here we go. A little different for Farrah too. Not too much different though. <clears throat> like I said, there's not much to really talk about with these heroes. I don't play a lot of these other heroes, so I can't really give you too many tips. But like I said, pause the video if you want to check out specifics on a certain hero. Reinhardt. I love Reinhardt with a fast sensitivity. Uh, it's kind of weird, but I like swinging the hammer, especially after this recent buff he had where you can swing your hammer 10% faster. It makes a big difference. So I got a fast sensitivity on for him. Hog, not much to look at. 76, similar to McCree. Slower sensitivity. Again, not much to look at. Allied health bars. Oh, wow, look at Look. I had that fucked up. What if I need to be the, the 76 healer? Uh, Sombra haven't touched, Simi haven't touched, Torp haven't touched, Tracer. Low sensitivity, high aim assist. That's huge. Tracking is big when it comes to Tracer. Now, I have remapped my ultimate on this account, or on this character. Where are we at here? Ability number three, my ultimate ability. I have that set to L2. That's so I don't have to take my thumb off my right stick to hit triangle. If I, it wouldn't be a problem if I was using a regular controller because I want a regular controller. I play claw. If you're unfamiliar with that, you can just Google. It's not good for your wrist. It's not good for your hands. But since I started playing with a scuff, it kind of gives me a couple more buttons to work with. So ultimate ability L2. That's the only difference I have for tracer. What else we got? What else we got? All right, here we go. The one you've been waiting for. The Widowmaker. This is it right here. <clears throat> now, 
what I do want to say though is that th these are my settings. This is important. These are my settings. These aren't your settings. So what works for me may not work for you. So what you're looking at right here, you could you could start like you could use this as a base to uh, you know, okay, this is what he plays with. Maybe I'll give it a go. But you're probably gonna have to tweak it yourself to find your comfort zone because everybody's different. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are. You could be the best player in the game, but my sensitivity may not work for your sensitivity or you might like a different crosshair you know all types of different good stuff as for uh my button layout i haven't changed a thing it's all default and that's what my reticle looks like again if you want to pause the video over that reticle by all means copy it it's uh very similar to the short crosshairs winston a little faster of a sensitivity lower aim assist window like it really matters and Zarya very low sensitivity with a hundred aim assist and window size it honestly feels like you're using an aimbot like it, it's ridiculous so yeah nothing nothing really changed there either and then Zenny not much of a difference there either same as the default but yeah very important to take from this though these are my settings these aren't your settings I mean everybody's different like you can go you can go to your aim technique there's three different to choose from some people like linear ramp some people like exponential ramp I I'm a, I like dual zone I won't use anything but dual zone but everybody has their own their own cup of tea yeah that's that's about it I hope it helped I hope you can use these sensitivities to kinda you know build a basis on what you're trying to do but find your own tweak it you'll have to play a lot keep keep making little little changes here and there you know and uh you'll eventually find your comfort zone you'll find what works for you and that's basically all i have to say for the sensitivities i know it's kind of a boring video but i've gotten so many requests to do hey jenks what's your settings like i've gotten so many requests to do it and if you're ever wondering if i've changed my settings throughout videos they're always in the description for for widowmaker at least because that's basically all i play Widowmaker sensitivities always in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps and I'll see you on the next one